How's it going guys? This is Bailey with Rogers Performance Frames. Today I'm going to walk you through this 2020 Bayliner E18 element. Uh, I want to show you the outside. Um, this is actually a pre-sold boat, so I want to be able to walk you through the boat as well as show the customer that's purchasing it, uh, the ins and outs of the new boat. Uh, so first, starting at the front of the uh, boat and trailer, um, this does come with a caravan single axle trailer. Uh, it does come equipped with a swing tongue. Uh, you've got a standard two inch coupler here and then no trailer brakes on this application. Uh, one thing with the swing tongue, they're nice to have for uh, you know storage length in your garage especially. Two things, you want to make sure the cotter pin's always in for transportation and then also you periodically want to check the hardware on the other side to make sure the hardware is all in good condition as well. That way you don't have an accident going down the freeway. Um, right here you'll see your standard uh, four way trailer connector. This is going to run your trailer lights and signal lights. Um, you do have just a uh, standard winch on the bow um, as well as a safety strap here. Uh, one thing I like to tell all my customers is you can take the safety strap off before you go down the dock, but the main strap, this is the last thing you want to take off. You want to make sure the engine's fired up and running before you unhook this, just to make sure you're not floating away and you know the engine doesn't start because of a dead battery or maybe you're out of gas. Uh, moving our way back down the side of the boat, Again, single axle trailer, no brakes, all LED lights on this. Um, when I'm backing this trailer in the water, rule of thumb, each dock's going to be a little bit different, but I like to put the front of the fender, so this area here, about three to four inches below water. Um, then you can lower the motor down, fire it up. If you're ready to go, pull it off from there. If it doesn't pull off right away uh, to avoid ripping your bunk carpeting, you may uh, back it in a couple more inches at that point. Moving to the back of the boat, um, this one's equipped with a Mercury 90 horse it's a fuel injected four stroke. We, um, this boat's gonna be primarily used at high altitude above 5,000 feet. So we've got a uh, thir uh, 15 pitch three blade aluminum prop. Uh, the RPM range on this is gonna be 5,500 to 6,000 at uh, wide open throttle. So we should with this prop be right in that 5,800 RPM range. One thing I do want to show you over on the port side of the engine, uh, two things actually. One, you've got the tilt and trim so you can take and raise and lower it from here. You've got the battery switch off so it's not going to move for us now. Um, but one thing we see uh, a lot is people think that they can run off of this, which is the washout. So you take and twist this to open it, pull that out. What this is designed for is to wash the engine out. If you go in salt water, if you go in any water with a lot of debris, it's you know dirty water to clean out the engine cooling system, but you do not want to run off of that. This is simply just a washout. Uh, if you look over here on the lower unit, on the gear case here, you'll see these holes. That's where you're gonna want to have your flush head or um, over the lower unit to allow it to run and pump water and keep the engine cool. Last thing I want to show you on the transom of the boat, if you look down here, you can see we've got a transom strap on port and starboard side. Of course, you want to take those off before you go to launch it. And then a few other things that are a little bit different for this model. You do have your traditional boat plug. Um, that's, and then on this side, you're going to have the intake for the live well, where this one's equipped with the live well, and then the drain for the live well. So unless you have no intentions of using the live well, you will always want to make sure that this is open. And then this little scoop right here is to avoid any debris or anything being sucked up into the live well pump. Now we're going to climb up inside and show you the rest of the boat. All right, now to go over to the inside of the boat, first thing I want to show you is going to be your battery key or your battery switch. Uh, so this thing right here is what you're going to use to power on the boat. Right now, like you noticed early in the video, we have no power to anything. Tilt trim on the engine, nothing on the gauges, nothing at all. So if you can look down in this little cubby, you're going to see a little black port off to the starboard side, which is my left hand side right now. And this is keyed, so you, cannot, you can't put it in wrong. You'll just take, pop this in, turn it uh, clockwise now we've got battery power right next to our battery and it's ready to go so from there you can take come back up to the helm verify really quickly horns working we've got power and it's ready to go um, so the nice thing about this element the way it's equipped it's set up for really everything if you just want to cruise on the lake for a day you can the 90 horsepower has got plenty of power to push it up and down the river um, if you want to use it for fishing it's perfectly set up for that under this cushion right here on the port side we've got a live well already plumbed in from the factory so you'll just remove this snap in cushion lift up on this right here and we've already got an aerated live well uh, the one thing with the live well the switch to turn it on is going to be on the dash but if you can see this water spigot here you need to take and open it up right now it's open and water flow can come in to close it you just simply turn that just like you would your garden hose at home 
This plug right here attached to it is to keep water inside the live well. You'll just take and plug that in there. And that way the water can't drain out and it's ready to go. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there's another hole right above that. That is the overflow. So if you accidentally left your live well switch on, it wouldn't flood the boat, it'd overflow out the uh, back of the transom where I showed you earlier in the video. Walk you through a few more things. Like I mentioned, this has got the uh, bow and uh, transom uh, casting chairs. Um, if you're using these for fishing, uh, they're perfect setup. You can actually take and remove these cushions. They're snap in as well. Um, they've got plastic marine board under them, so you've got a full casting platform up in the bow. You can stand and fish on that, or if you'd like, lift up. You've got plenty of storage. Both port and star starboard side are going to have that. also remove this cushion as well snap that then you've got a full walk around casting platform and then you can use this for anchor storage or any other storage inside there uh, if you do notice on the bow it's already set up for a bow trolling motor and this is uh, wired for a 24 volt trolling motor system customer didn't want it on at the time but maybe he adds it later and it's already wired for it so it's just gonna be plug and play the one thing to know with these seats, to remove this, you've got a lever right here on the right hand side of the seat. You want to take press up on that, then the seat can be removed. And then to lift up on the pedestal, you've got a little black button here on the post. Take press it in, pull straight up and it's removable. Now we've got a big open area for just recreation. Moving over to the uh, console of the boat. Baylander did a phenomenal job laying this out. They made it as simplistic and easy to use as possible. Um, so you've got the one gauge right in the middle, that's gonna be your speedometer. You, next gauge is gonna be your volt gauge. Turn the key on, you hear the alarm sound, so you got power and it's ready to go. So very, very simple, not a whole lot to distract you here. Again, speedometer, voltage, and then over to the right of the steering wheel, we've got the switch for the navigation light. So that's going to turn on the white light on the back of the transom. Um, excuse me, the green and red lights on the bow. And then you've got the anchor light, which is the white light on the transom that I just mentioned. Bilge pumps here. I don't know if you can hear that running in the video, but it is on and going. This accessory switch is going to be for the live well that comes equipped in this model. And then your horn. See that that's working. Only other thing I want to show you is going to be the Jensen sound system. I'll have Court walk around the other side so you can kind of get a good look at it. Over here um, is where you'll find the stereo unit for it. So just go ahead and press the power button to get that turned on. Um, once it's fired up, you can got AM, FM radio, and then you've over. also yeah, got. Great. I said, yeah, I'm taking this new stuff, balance of nature. So. So you, again, you've got AM, FM, you've also got Bluetooth, and then if you want to run auxiliary or USB, you'll find those ports in there. And then you've also got an additional 12-volt 12, uh, 12 outlet, whether you want to use that to charge a phone or blow up a tube or use it for a spotlight, it's all right in there. Under the back side, last things I want to show you, back here, in the, you've got two removable cushions. Uh, with this package, it also does have uh, white platforms that fill in on there, so it can be a rear casting deck. We've got the removable gas tank, snap-on cover for the boat is here. We've got the same storage on the uh, starboard side that's going to also house your anchor light and your navigation light. But great amount of storage for gear, tackle, anything else you need in the boat. Uh, so now we're going to get this boat cleaned up and ready to go home.